Blue flight crew, FTC, flight team stand up. Why you lie? It's July, cause it ain't June. Hey you guys, now we enjoyed JaVale McGee's vlog of the behind the scenes of the NBA bubble, but you guys came at me with something even better. We got a dude named Matthias Bully. Um, I've never heard of this dude in my life. Um, he honestly probably got signed like five or ten days ago, um, somewhere in July, you know. Um, but, you know, hey, he's in the NBA. You can give credit for where he's due. Just never heard of him, never did my research. Uh, I don't even know what team he plays for. I don't even know what team we're about to react to. But make it, uh, you know what I'm saying, intro short, launch intro short. That makes sense? Yeah, anyway. Um, we got two videos in one because apparently we got some so fresh, so clean, clean more footage of the uh, behind the scenes of the NBA bubble. Let's check it out. Welcome to the bubble. What team do you play for? Philadelphia. Oh, he played for. Look at Joel He plays for the uh, Sixers. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of this dude still. Okay. I like the editing. My type of editing. Okay. Nice. Hopefully, this is enough. No. For those that don't know, part of my job as being a rookie is getting Chick-fil-A for all the players on the plane. And even in... What did you just say? No. For those that don't know, part of my job as being a rookie is getting Chick-fil-A for all the players on the plane. And even in a state of pandemic. Bro, I wish some grown ass men would tell me, go get me some food and it's your job. When it's not your job. When your job is to be a basketball player. Nigga, what the fuck, man? You got me. Bro, you've got me absolutely all the way top bent. You got me fucked up, bro. Nigga, trade me to the next team ASAP. Nigga, cut me from the team. So you let it see so me to tell me just because you a rookie, you gonna let all these other players that are really casuals to be honest with you. There's nobody in the Sixers that's just, uh, that's an all star. Let's be 100 percent honest, okay? You're gonna sit up here and tell me you don't let these niggas be like, hey, I'm gonna need you to go get me some food right now. You know what I'm saying? You know he said he said he gotta get get them Chick Fil A. I hope he was trolling because I was trying to let it play out, but it looks like he being serious. No, bro. Ain't no way I'm letting some grown ass men tell me when my job is to be a professional basketball player. My job, your job is to tell me to go get my food for lunch break. What? That job still stands. What? Nah, fam. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, bro. I ain't going for that, bro. Nah, man. Just be, man, y'all in a generation different, bro. Fam. I was honestly going to, like, be, like, just let it be, like, slide. But I'll just defeat the purpose of me turning on the cameras and doing my reaction video. This is, like, I'm going to be blunt. Like, bro, you, it's not me doing it. I'm not even about to, I'm just saying, bro. If he, bro, if, bro, if he happens to catch this and see, bro, out, bro, don't do this. Make that your last time doing that, bro. You need to be on the court practicing, getting all the reps you can. You make somebody, man. What do I do with the food? Ain't no way, fam. You dropped the chicken sandwich. <laughs> Yo, you dropped the chicken sandwich. Yo, can I get that? It's still in the wrapper. What do I do with the food? You dropped the chicken sandwich, bruh. Oh my god. No way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't that my job? I that bro, that is not my job, bro. Ain't no way 
grown ass men don't tell me to go get you some food. Not even has to do with the pandemic. It's just like in general, because if he's doing it this time right now, it means he was doing it before, the, you know what I'm saying, the season ended because of the roll row. Um, bro, I'm not getting no grown ass men. Bro, drop me to the NBA right now. Any team, bro. I don't even care if it's the Warriors, bro. I wish they would tell me, hey, you just joined the team, you a rookie. Hey, you know when you choke in your own spit? No homo. Like, that's what fucking happened. I had to recover. But anyway, man. And you know, the lemonade hit until, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but look. I wish I would get drafted and i go to the Warriors, for example. And they would tell me, hey, you're a rookie. I need you to go get us some food for lunch break. Ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening, yo. It ain't happening, yo. I'm not going for that. Me, you should ask me if I give you permission. I have permission to record you. Thank you. Who's that? Everybody pass the test, right? Can we at least dap each other up? All right, I'll give you that. Who's that, yo? Bro, I don't know anybody on the Philadelphia 76ers but fucking Simmons, Ben, and fucking MB Joel, bro. Don't nobody know anybody on the Sixers, man. I don't know anybody. Man, sit your ass down, man, and start thinking about how you're going to start scoring more so you can go to the play. said these bro it's go time it's go time like bro you sound like the batman <laughs> man the fuck oh should i go back to the spot he said it fuck it nice got the hand sanitizer look like trey huh Mr. Documentary, is that what's happening here? So this is... Doug, you know, first and foremost, we want to really just thank you for the sacrifice that you're all making. So we are working with some of the leading health experts in the world to make this the most safest environment we possibly can. First, oh, yeah. hello, Joel. Can I go to my room? Can I get tested? Yes. Yes, you can go get your magic band. Yes. I don't take hands, I gotta do this. Joel? Or is it a bug? No. Bro. <laughs> Good, I'll walk down with you in a second. Don't let it slide, bro. Yes, All right, can I place this on your arm? Yep. I'm sure they told you this bracelet just shows that you got tested, so don't take it off yet, okay, until they tell you to. I'll try not to. All right. Thanks, you too. Uh, this is your uh, magic bag. This is this thing. It's, it's the key to your room. Yep. Inside the bag is your room number. Mm -hmm. You have to get that on. If you want to put it on, if not, you don't have to. Go straight to the exit doors, and they will put you in a cart to get you to your room. Thank you. You got it. What's going on, man? I'm nice. Let's figure out what life is like now up here. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. 
So you can take my mask off. This dude is a little kid! Oh wow. Nope. Yep. 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 Nope. Yep. Yeah, you better say no to that Velveeta cheese, man. Yep. No, no, I don't, I don't bro, almonds Hershey's yep. ill, man. Yep. No. Yep. Yep. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I said the same thing too! Sure. Bro, hey, if you ain't say yes to the dumb man, you don't get your stink breaths out of here, bro. You better have gum somewhere. Hey. All facts always have gum on you. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you can run into. You know, trust me. It could be the grocery store, anything. Make sure you always have gum on you. It could be the baddest shit of your uh, lifetime. Bro. That's crazy. That's how you know you've made it. What's it? Actually, what's in this? Oh, yeah. Whoa, mess. Wait, let me try this one. This is bad. And I think it's reversible. Oh, that's lit. What the heck is this thing? Bro, imagine if you didn't bring video games there. What the fuck is that? What are you doing? I don't think this is right. Bro, he low-key low looks like LSK, yo. I don't know why. Or if it's even touch screen. So Bay is Harris. Our team has to do something. Yeah. We can't be a team not getting a squad. No. Alright, my dude, I'm gonna brainstorm with some ideas. I'll let, I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Yeah, let me know. That's the food for today. It's bon appetit. It's not that bad. Like the food, like they was making exaggerate on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the heck this is right here, but they just need to add some like cheese and parmesan to this bit. I, if I can get my own parmesan cheese, I make something out of that. And then this, you just need like either some Chick Fil A sauce or some uh, McRae's barbecue sauce. You good? Bon appetit. That was tragic. Or you can get some hamburger bread. You can make a, a, a macaroni. Uh, a chicken. The chicken is chicken. I also have a napkin. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use the lid as a spoon. Oh shit! Yo, no, this dude is funny as hell, yo. Hello. Hey. What he said maybe we <laughs> Bro, it's just this dude's like sarcasm is so fucking funny, bro. Oh my gosh. Does your food not come with you? Okay. Okay, I'll make sure you get you some food. Okay. 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 Alright. Thank you. Bye. Bro, he said maybe we're supposed to use our Sweet. Damn, why do they treat them like fucking animals? Like what the fuck? Just throw the first of all, that's fucking unsanitary. You might as well have somebody stand by the fucking door. With the mask on and give you your fork and utensils. That's not that much protection if you think about it behind that plastic bag. It's only a thin layer. I could see if it was behind the little crate and they just left it on the floor. But you leave it like a plastic fork around the floor like there's some fucking animal? What the fuck is this shit, man? Come on, man. Tighten up. You leak, Bro, you don't... You know how dirty the hotel floors are, bro? They want to sit there and make this. I understand. I get the picture and I get the memo. They was definitely trying to keep, minimize contact. But this is not it, bro. Like, come on, my bro. I'm not a like a certified nurse or a physician and shit, bro. But you guys know if you've been in hotels before, everything happens on a hotel floor, bro. Like, I'm not about the name because people can be eating and shit. But, bro, come on, man. That's like oh, pure. It's <laughs> more like it. That's pretty good. Now I'm, that's what I'm saying. The food looks good. He just... Oh, no! I replayed it on the wrong thing. My bad. No. Sweet. Mm -hmm. My bad, y'all. But no, I was saying... What they was putting on the internet, yes. they were exaggerating like crazy. Like, that food is actually bomb. Like, if he could have... um, I don't know if they were allowed to order it. They can Uber Eats, right? They can motherfucking... 
I would go to the, tell the Uber Eats to go to the corner store and get some hamburger bread, get some barbecue sauce, or, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they're not going to have Chick-fil-A. Well, you can't have Chick-fil-A. You got the teammates Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? So, get the Uber Eats, tell them to get Chick-fil-A sauce, you get some barbecue sauce, bro. Bro, I can make this little chicken and macaroni like three different type of meals. My type of meal. It's more like it. Yeah, do what you got to do sometimes, you know? Good, we good. Not really trying to unpack today, cause I'm just uh. I don't know about good. you guys, but whenever I go to a hotel, I never unpack my stuff and put them in the drawers. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I but never. Least we could do. You brought a candle? Let's turn this place into a home. I thought, man, the deal thing. I thought candles was more like of a woman thing. Ow. So basically, there's way too much stuff to record for one day. So I'm gonna finish going through the rest of the stuff tomorrow, and we'll see what else we got. All right, now here's part two, you guys. When the cameras are off, we all know what the truth is. Wait, did he just say when the cameras was on? When the cameras are off, we all know what the truth is. He knows who I am. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if this was the same day or this is a different day when he recorded this. Like Turkey princess. sausage, arrow dredge. Looks good on paper. Pancake syrup. They, 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 they look like they got some good shit. Bro, they, bro, the internet exaggerates everything. Come on, bro. This is fire right here, bro. If you ain't saying this is fire, you ain't a nutritious, nutritious person. I'm a nutritious, nutritionist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just know what's healthy. Like, bro, you can never sleep on yogurt, fruit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Granola bar. Now, I don't eat granola bars every single day. I used to eat like a chewy bars and ish. Like, they were like a little munchy food. You know what I'm saying? Like, going to school or whatever. But most of the time, like, even still to this day, every day, bro. <clears throat> no matter if I, if I don't have a full two, three meals a day, I always have yogurt and fruit, bro. Always got to eat the, the fruits. This is fire. They got eggs. They got boiled eggs. What they got? <laughs> I wasn't eating anyway, but I was just wondering why I didn't eat that lunch. I'd say break, did you eat breakfast? I got breakfast. Breakfast was solid. Is there anybody out there? People in hazmat suits are here to test me. Let's see how this goes. They're here. The testers. Thank you. Twelve hours for the turnaround. Once we get good results, and then the world is yours. You're Honestly, I don't know if that helped, but I feel like it's time that I get unpacked. I've been here for. Let's get started. This is like a mattress topper that they put on the bed, but it didn't really fit. So I just thought it would be a better idea to just put it on the ground and make it like a hangout spot. And last but not least, the little guy. Oh, he's unpacking, like no, unpacking. Know how to plan for a three month trip. Dad, that so, doesn't even look like enough, yo. What I really hope for is that this stuff lasts me as long as possible. I think I have too many shirts. Bro, I never unpack when I go to a hotel. I would have just kept it all in my suitcase. I feel like there's nothing entertaining about me putting my clothes. I'll just do like a jump cut to this closet being done. <laughs> what did I do? So you came out pretty good. I mean, everything got a hanger. You got swag, you guys? Yes or no? Bro, I would have made everything. Come on, man. You bricked everything. Like, you could have been worse, right? Bro, I would have made all of that. What is that? A safe? Oh, yeah. What's, what's the shoe game looking like? Bro, you breaking everything. You got some off-whites. I like that edit. Some light leads for my tiny shoe. He 
bro, books? He bro. Bro, I haven't read a full book since like fourth grade, man. Fuck you mean? I think it was Charlotte's Web. Fam. I don't know if this is completely allowed, Yeah, he's different, different. I would have been brought in the, the, the gang systems, not no books. During our Christmas gift exchange. And... I kind of want to send it up. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll do it. So basically, all of Disneyland is a no-fly zone. So this has been postponed, but I'm not taking it as defeat. I'm gonna find a way around it. Quarantine is officially over. That means I can take this off. Practice or something? How are you guys doing today? Yeah, come on through. You want to hit your magic band whenever you come in or out? Perfect. Where you need to go? Yeah, yeah, that's some right. Futurama shit. Don't say that. Yeah, we're still with Mid Caesar. That looks spooky, dude. How old are you? I'm two years old. <laughs> Especially, uh, um, you know, next year you're still technically. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no. no, until the first regular season, you're still technically. Well, that's fine. There's going to be one left between this season and next season. Yeah, but it's going to go quick. Take a picture of it. It's a video. Oh, hi, guys. Let's go, Tom. Oh, uh. Bro, what are you watching? Where are they? Fine. I don't know. They could be my room. Class. You like shoes? Mike, that's Mike, Mike's right there. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Orlando AAU, boy. Get KO. Get KO. Get KO. Man, boy Kale, you already know. Listen, check this. You know what I mean? Bro, who the hell is this, yo? You know what I mean? Looks like Demarcus Cousin, yo. You keep doing you, I'm going to keep doing me, you I'm going to go ready for practice if you don't mind. Do your thing. These are size 15. Bro, who the hell was that, bro? Like, why was he acting so cocky? I'm going to go ready for practice if you don't mind. Do your thing. The fuck? Why are you acting? He's so cool and cocky, bro. You literally probably average three points per game, bro. You know what I mean? Who is this you kid? You keep doing me, you're... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to ready for practice if you don't mind. Do you think size 15. Fuck, you seem irritated, bro. 13. What, bro? Well, you guys are gonna have to figure out how to make this work. Bro, no, I'm man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna look up the Sixers roster right quick, man. Fam, I just, I don't know why I just struck a nerve or something, bro. It's just like certain things. Like, you got to be actually at least good to be acting a certain way, bro. Let me see the, uh, roster. I'm doing it right now. Okay, so we got Simmons and B, the Mitis, the Bully, dude. So he's apparently like the third best player on the Sixers. I didn't even know that. Then you got Alec Burt. You got Ryan Brohoff. Harris, dude, Al Horford, Furkane Cormaze, Shake Mountain. I think that's the dude right here. This Shake Mountain or whatever. One year player page. Let me see it. 
I think this is the same dude. It looks like him. Nah, I mean, I don't know, bro. Maybe let me kiss you. Oh, yeah, I found him. It's Quinn. Kyle. Kyle O'Quinn. Seven year in the NBA. Let's look up his stats, bro. Let's look up his stats. Three points per fucking game and you're acting like this, bro. Like, fam, man. Get your life together, fam. Humble up, bro. You literally average less points. <laughs> man, bro. You literally, you literally average a free throw, bro. I don't think I have other shoes here right now. You're okay with the amount of L's you took from the lifeguard? I don't think you're kicking your butt. You squat once a day. When the cameras are off, we all know what the truth is. Yeah, when the cameras are on me! <laughs> Some big today. Yes, hey man, hold up. Let me pause the video. Let me look at the uh, the Mateus the bully dude. Um, his stats real quick, bro. Let me see if he's actually pretty decent. Cause I'll take back what I said. You know what I'm saying about the 10 day con. He still got sweat. I didn't take back what I said about him getting the food for the players. That gotta go. That gotta go. He's a rookie, so he gets a pass. At least, if it's at least more than 10 points per game, which four. He's still some room for approval. That's better than the other dude that was trying to be too cool for the camera ish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 <laughs> he called him all those the savage comeback low key. What is that? Why does he have clay on his feet? Hey man, first day of practice done. Took a whole lot of took a whole lot of L's. Oh, but it's okay. Hey, hey Blue Team took like two L's today, four dubs. Oh, Red team had a rough night though. Red team had a rough yeah. night. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Right, I'm like, we gonna be in a bubble for three months. I need to get myself right. I need social media. <laughs> That's all. the best news I've heard all day. Little do people know that this man was working with a flip phone. <laughs> the old knees. <laughs> <laughs> he said old knees, man. He iced the motherfuckers. Testing. You only got two wins. You would have thought they won the championship. You have all three wins. Two wins. Alan, we got all three wins. Alan, make sure you get out. I'm not gonna watch your view. Don't watch it because you won't be in there. Who the hell is this dude? Another one trying to act too cool. Another nobody player. Is it good? Like, bro. Like, you're not even that good to be acting like that, fam. You talking about you're gonna put me in the video, man. Who cares, bro? You're on a team, bro. That's not good, so. Good job, T. Yeah! Has anybody fell in love with the cherry bubbly soda? Oh, what? You're not supposed to be drinking soda playing basketball. That's why he averages three points. You heard that? Soda, soda is the worst thing to drink when you're playing sports. So, soda literally like disintegrates and like just dissolves your stamina like 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 quicksand. You literally automatically lose. Like if you drink soda right now, I have a game tomorrow. You your ten percent stamina already gone. I just opened the fridge. <laughs> Happen. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, with this thing, it's about to explode. You drink it fast enough, it tastes just like cherry. Yeah, it's just <laughs> <laughs> Is it actually trash? I don't know. We're about to find out. Bubbly cherry soda. I said drink it fast enough so you can taste the cherry. Okay. If you're thirsty, but drink fast. But it's bubbly, so it's hard. But don't chug it. Enjoy the drink. Tea. Get the chair. Game changer. That was. Ain't no game changer. That's some school threat mentality thinking. Why do you chug a soda? The fuck? Hey, don't get. Hey, don't get uh, influence, uh, rookie. What do you mean incoherent? 
in a dump party game that we get you talking. That's a good game, you know why? Why? Because motherfuckers don't talk no more. Hey man, as usual, man, coming down below and share that to next me on the road to three minutes.